Greetings and welcome to another edition of The Great Goddess. Praise be to Goddess. Praise be to Goddess. Well, we have a very serious topic today, and that topic is shootings in America. We've had a lot of shootings recently. There's the Chattanooga shooting, and the shooting in Louisiana, and the shooting in Charleston. And all of these shootings may have different reasons, but they're all united in one thing, one single thing, and that is the violence that's perpetrated against the victims in these shootings. And these shootings are a great human tragedy. It's a human tragedy on all counts. All around it's a human tragedy. And the goddess mourns for us her children. She does. She really does. She, she's sad for us and she mourns for us when these shootings occur because she doesn't like the shootings. No, none of us do. None, nobody likes the shootings. Uh, believe me, none of us like for shooters to go into a, a crowded mall or a movie theater or a recruiting office or a church and open fire. None of us like that. Or a school. So what what can we do to stop the shootings and what, what's causing the, these shootings? What's the cause and how can we stop it? Well, Goddess is sad for all of her children. Not just a few. All of her children. She's sad for all of us. And when she's sad, she's also sad for the shooter because she sees into the shooter's mind and she knows how, how perturbed the shooter is and she knows everything about the shooter's life. So she's sad for the shooter too. She's angry at the shooter. She's mad, but she is also sad. And that is not to, to condone in any way or to... Um, feel sympathy at any way for the shooters because they don't deserve sympathy but the, the goddess does see into their minds and she's saddened by what she sees she's sad because she knows the shooters intimately and personally and she knows why they shoot and so she's sad too she's sad about the shooters and their motivations and their reasons and the tr truth of the matter is there's not much we can do about these shootings because each shooter has a different reason for shooting. So how can we stop them all? How can we stop these shooters from shooting? And let's take the case of the Chattanooga shooting. The, the shooter was a Muslim and apparently he didn't leave much behind for us to figure out why he did the shooting but he hated America because obviously America gave him his start and he didn't appreciate it so he hated America and he wanted to shoot because maybe because ISIS told him to but the thing is the, the shootings happen one after the other one two three four of all the shootings in a row and the these shooters are inspired by each other the the one guy does a shooting one guy does a shooting and the next one says hey that guy did a shooting i can do it too i'll go and shoot and then another one another one says hey that guy did the shooting i can go and shoot too so they're all inspired by each other they they feed off of one another's energy and they shoot one after the other. So what was the original cause of all these shootings? Well, I can tell you that the shooters had a leader. 
These shooters had a leader that inspired them, and it was Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold. They were the originals, original shooters. They were the ones that inspired all these American shootings. And they did the original shootings in their school in Columbine, and they they are the ones most responsible for all of these shootings because there wouldn't be a whole bunch of shootings in America unless there was a first, somebody who first started shooting that inspired all the shooters subsequently, and that was Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold. They inspired all of these shootings. So what can we do about these shootings? Well, like I said, there's not much we can do about these shootings, once the Pandora's box of shootings was opened, there was not much we could do to close it again because these shootings happened one after the other in rapid fire and they're all inspired by each other. They, they feed off of each other's energy and they're all inspired to do their own shootings. So we have radical Islam, radical Islam in America that inspires shootings. We have neo-Nazis. Neo-Nazis are inspired to do shootings because they admire Adolf Hitler and his murderous regime and they want to emulate him. We have haters. We have, we have racial hate. So we have haters in America. We have we have neo-Nazis, we have radical Islam, radical Islam being a topic for a whole other video. Why do we have radical Islam and what can be done about it? And so we have all of these different motives for the shootings. But well, one thing they all have in common is that, they've, that they went into a public place and they shot everybody in the public place with their guns. And they do it at random, you know, they don't have a particular target and they just shoot. They just shoot everybody in sight, everybody that is moving and breathing, they shoot them. So they do, they do sometimes have a particular target. The, the, the shooter in Chattanooga targeted marine recruitment stations because he hates the the US government he hates their the military and we know that these shooters all have different motives but the one thing that unites them is that they all shot a bunch of people and so we need to be vigilant in our security in this country and to be totally honest with you, frankly, maybe we should just take away their guns. Because if they didn't have guns, how would they do these shootings? We have these, this freedom to bear arms in America. And perhaps that's not such a good idea. Perhaps these shootings would stop if these people couldn't obtain firearms. If they couldn't get a hold of firearms, maybe they, these shootings would dry up. But at any rate, these shootings continue, and we, the, the public and the victims of the shootings, just want the shootings to stop. We want the shootings to stop, and we don't appreciate the shootings. We just, we don't, we don't like the shootings, and we don't want any more shootings. We won't want shootings anymore. So we have to do something to stop the shooters. And frankly, I think the easiest way is to take away their guns. But there might be other alternative ways we could stop the shooters. I'm not certain. But yeah, the, the shootings continue. The, the shootings, there's been a whole bunch of shootings this summer in the city where I live and it's a rash of shootings and it happens in the summertime because that's when people are most active and so yeah the shootings continue 
if we took away their guns, they wouldn't be able to do these shootings. But, you know, a very low crime rate in places like Japan that have gun control. Um, don't know if that would work for America, but it might be worth amending the Second Amendment just to read no guns because the the shootings are out of control and we don't we can't stop these shooters from shooting people left and right and we we need to do something i'm sarah jane alpha wolf wishing you a happy week and have a great day